Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Thursday, the 23rd of November. As always, we begin our service with the service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And we're going to be singing our hymn throughout the service uh, for the healing of the nations. Very appropriate, I think, at this time. Hymn number 576. And we'll sing the first verse now. For the healing of the nations, Lord, we pray with one accord. For a just and equal sharing of the things that earth affords. To a life of love in action, help us rise and pledge our word. And our psalm is a portion of Psalm 119, which we say together. Your decrees are wonderful, therefore my soul keeps them. The unfolding of your word gives light. It imparts understanding to the simple. With open mouth I pant because I long for your commandments. Turn to me and be gracious to me, as is your custom towards those who love you. Keep my steps steady according to your promise, and never let iniquity have dominion over me. Redeem me from human oppression, that I may keep your precepts. May your face shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now let us sing the next verse of our hymn. Lead us forward into freedom From despair your world release That redeemed from war and hatred All may come and go in peace Show us how through care and goodness Fear will die and hope increase. Our Gospel is Matthew 18, 1-9, the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked him, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child whom he put among them and said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were fastened around your neck and you were drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world because of stumbling blocks. Occasions for stumbling are bound to come, but woe to the one by whom the stumbling block comes. If your hand or your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter the life, life maimed or, or lame than to have two hands or two feet and to be thrown into the eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than to have two eyes and to be thrown into the hell of fire. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So right off the bat, Jesus, uh, the questions of the disciples show that they're not quite with the program. They're saying, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Um, maybe they haven't seen enough of Jesus to realize that Jesus turns the idea about greatest and least upside down on its head. Um, and, of course, he brings a child. He uses a child as an object lesson. He puts the child among them. 
and says you have to become like one of these, humble like one of these, in order to be greatest in the kingdom of heaven. We shouldn't even really be thinking about greatest and least. We should be thinking about being of service, in humble service to God. Um, today, we, our, our world is filled with people trying to be greatest and people trying to muscle people out of the way. Um, Jesus' way is different. <laughs> Jesus' way, uh, the way of the kingdom, is different from human striving, which is what really creates all the war and hatred that's going on in this world today. We need to repent of our striving and our, our trying to be greatest. We need to repent of that, to turn our way to God's way of humble service. That was God's way because Jesus is the way we know God today. So let us pray for humility in this world, this world of striving for getting what we think is ours and striving to be ahead of everyone else. Let us instead walk the way of humility and kindness as God would have us walk. Let us sing the next verse of our hymn. All that kills abundant living, let it from the earth be banned. Pride of status, race or schooling, dogmas that obscure your plan. In our common quest for justice, may we hallow life's brief span. And now let us say together the words of the hero Israel. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. In our prayers, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond with hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, by your incarnation and your birth in poverty, by your baptism, your fasting, and your trials in the desert, O Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. By your agony in the garden, by your cross and passion, by your death and burial, by your resurrection and ascension, and by the gift of your Holy Spirit, O Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In times of trouble and in times of well-being, at the hour we die and on the day of your glory, O Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Deliver us from war and violence, from hardness of heart and from contempt of your love and your promises. O Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Enlighten our lives with your word, that in it we may find our way and our hope. O Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Assist your people in every land. Govern them in peace and justice. Defend them from all the enemies of life. O Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for peace in this world, this troubled world. We pray, O Lord, for your way of humility. We pray, O Lord, that people's hearts might be turned towards justice and peace that we might sow justice and reap peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and suffering, those known to us, those unknown to us. And today, in our cycle of prayer for the sick in the parish, we pray for Joanne Canerva, Gail Miller, Natalia Stanzek, Brenda Hicks, Mary Plant, Vera, Jim Glass, Daryl Wilson, Al and Melba de Cruz, Bonnie Leonard, Linda and Karen Gordon, Carlos Nuri and Gail. For all the sick, O oh Lord, we pray for your healing touch, that they might be granted wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have requested uh, prayers online. Today we continue to pray for Carla Baco. We pray for her health and 
we pray that she might be able to achieve with renewed health her personal goals. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for some more people on our parish list, and if you're joining us from another parish, I invite you to pray for members of, of your community as well. Today we pray for Charles Parsons, for Karen Pazma, and for Kenneth and Karen, Jared, Jordan, and Jeremy Pazma. We pray for Max and Carolyn Patterson, for Timothy, Jennifer, and Alexandra Patterson. We pray for Ray and Kathy Payne. We pray for Marianne Pierce, for Richard Pendred, and for Sylvain, Natalie, Liza, and Elizabeth Perron. We pray, O oh Lord, for their health, well-being, and happiness. We pray, O oh Lord, that they might discern your way for them in their lives, that they might serve your kingdom in all that they do, in their work, their play. We pray that they might know they belong to a community of faith that cares and prays for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for uh, some more dioceses in the Anglican Communion, for four more dioceses. We pray for the Diocese of Arareruyel in the Episcopal Church of South Sudan, the Diocese of Agu and Aniri in the Church of Nigeria, the Diocese of Aqua, Aka in the Church of Nigeria, and the Diocese of Awori in the Church of Nigeria. We pray, O oh Lord, for their bishops, clergy, and people. We pray, O oh Lord, that they might have the resources to do your mission in their part of the world. We pray for their health and happiness. And we pray that they might be encouraged, knowing that the world is praying for them at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for another brother of the Society of St. John the Evangelist. Today we pray for Brother Lucas Hall. We give you thanks, O oh Lord, for his ministry. We give you thanks for his teaching, especially in Old Testament. We give you thanks for his uh, commitment to the gospel as well. We pray, O oh Lord, for his health and well-being. We pray that your grace might continue to flow richly through him. And we pray that as he is supported by his brothers at SSJE, that he might know he is supported by a wider community in prayer, including us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray our night prayer from the Anglican Church of New Zealand. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. We pray our collect for this week. Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, grant us so to hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in our Savior Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now let us sing the last verse of our hymn. You, Creator God, have written your great name on humankind. 
For a growing in your likeness, bring the life of Christ to mind. That by our response and service, earth its destiny may find. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us in evening prayer tonight. I hope that you'll be able to join us on the weekend for prayer as well. And for my announcements, <clears throat> I want to remind us all that it is our Christmas market on Saturday. So I hope that you will be able to join us on Saturday uh, from 9 a.m. at the Parish Hall. And there's going to be lots of fun and I will be one of the chief elves. And um, we want to welcome everybody. So please do tell your friends and family that it's Christmas Market uh, Saturday. That's the 25th of uh, November uh, here at uh, St. Uh, St. Luke's Parish Hall, 1382 Ontario Street. Uh, come and buy all your Christmas presents. And we hope to see you there. Blessings and a good night's sleep to you.